I want to get to Kobe Bryant. He retired after a 20-year career in five NBA titles, and he wrote a letter, very interesting, to his younger self. If you didn't see this, he posted it in the Players' Tribune. Here's a part of what he wrote. Quote, when your Laker dream comes true, you need to figure out a way to invest in the future of your family and friends. This sounds simple. And you may think it's a no-brainer, but take some time to think on it further. Purely giving material things to your siblings and friends may appear to be the right decision. You love them. They were always there for you growing up, so it's only right that they should share in your success and that all comes with it. So you buy them a car, a big house, pay all their bills. You want them to live a beautiful, comfortable life, right? But the day will come when you realize that as much as you believed you were doing the right thing, you were actually holding them back. Anita, do you like, love, or hate that Kobe did this? I like it. I, I, I like it a lot, and, and kudos to the Players' Tribune, by the way. I mean, we're getting some really great material. We are honest, authentic pieces. From the Players' Tribune, but I, I, I like it. I, I will say this, though. I, I like that he used the word invest mm -hmm. in, instead of give. I think there are a number of athletes, I've covered them, I'm sure you ladies have covered them as well, that immediately, as soon as they get their, their pro job, as soon as they get that big payday, just family and friends come out of the woodwork and everybody wants that money they want that cheese they want that they want those benjamins right yep and i think it's hard i think it's difficult sometimes for professional athletes to say no and obviously it was for kobe bryant and now he's sharing his experience so those that are now coming into the nba that are going to experience the same thing he did kind of give them a little a little advice invest don't give i like it i like it a lot my only thing is i think it's a lot harder to do than say. I think, that's, I think that's very, very difficult for, for athletes to do that, especially if you've got friends that you've been friends with for a very long time, family members that are struggling. I think it's very difficult to say no to family. It's very difficult for me to say no to family mm -hmm. all the time. So um, I, I think it's a lot more difficult to do. I still think that um, he's bra very brave. Um, I can't say I like it or love it or hate it. I just have to say it hurts. Well, you have to give us one. It's, it's part, this is the game, Mama. Come on. I have to say Jeez. I like it, but okay. it hurts. It hurts in Why? so many ways. Uh, it had to take a lot of courage to sit, mm -hmm. and he had to dig really deep and find out exactly how he felt about everything that he had given. And mind you, we're raised to give without expecting anything in return. We expect to give as far as we can. We expect to give and probably never stop giving. And he one time decided, I'm not gonna give anymore. This is as far as I'm gonna go. That had to be tough. And in order to put that in writing and make it public, and we all know what happened with his parents, you know, it was public, that's not easy. It's not easy to be in living in a fishbowl, your private life being exposed all the time. Mm -hmm. And not only that, understanding that he came to a point where he said, enough is enough. I've made a mistake. And I applaud him because that courage of putting everything in writing is going to help those kids. How many rookies, like you said, find themselves even broke by the time they're done? Yes. In the first year, they have no money. It's gone. Why? Because they don't know when to say, this is as far as I And a lot of hanger-ons. Yes. Yeah. So... Congratulations, but it pains me. I, I feel his pain. I, I, I can see the words saying, dude, this was tough, and I understand that it's going to be tough, but you got to do it for you, and you got to do it for them. Mm -hmm. As an older child with younger siblings, I understand that, and it's never easy. I, I totally echo that sentiment, but it also takes a courage mm -hmm. and, and, and one of those aha moments to say, I'm not doing you any favors. I'm, I'm going to be the dissonant voice here, <laughs> okay. and I know it's coming. Love the message, hate the letter. With all due respect really? to the Players' Tribune, why, and very specific why, for me, this is not the way. Financial trouble is something that people who come from inner cities and who come from ev everywhere go through. It is an exclusive to very wealthy athletes. Mm -hmm. Ryan Howard went through the same thing. Many other players have gone through the same thing. And I think that the means to really address this is maybe, and I'll, and I'll make it personal. You know, I come from a country that is broke. I'm Puerto Rican. We all know what's going on with I the Puerto Rican government. Thank you very much. <laughs> love it. La Isla Puerto is love Puerto it. Puerto I was just there <laughs> on Christmas. Love it. But I grew up in a country that they didn't teach you 
financial responsibility or fiscal responsibility. Mm -hmm. But you who know? does, no, really? No, but the point is that you need to learn this. In the United States, they actually do. Oh, you know I, what? I know all these kids right now who are in high school, you know, maybe it's generational, mm -hmm. who are taking financial classes of financial Fantastic. responsibility. So the point is that that's the way that maybe Kobe should have done it. The way that, you know what, let's invest in a program in their cities to teach people how to manage their money better because it isn't a problem of millionaires. Yeah, but is, it is that, actually but a is problem. That, is that, but is that going to get the message to the players? But I don't this think... Was, this I actually don't way. think a letter in the Players Tribune is going to do it. I see, actually don't. See, I disagree that. with you. I think That's I think players. Disagree. I think players I have no love. Problem with I think disagree. players yeah. love the Players Tribune. I think they read I respect, it probably more than anything else. I respect else. that. I think that it can be a little disingenuous to speak that way. That's just my Here's opinion. Here's my thing. I'm taking away from this. What you guys are going back and forth is you're saying that Kobe speaking to other athletes, and obviously, as you brought up, it, regardless of how many millions of dollars, a lot of athletes end up losing a lot of their money. And this goes back to that old saying: "Give a man a fish, feed him for a day." Exactly. Yeah. Fish, investing in his future but I think what you're saying here which is you're bringing up an interesting point is that there's such a bigger issue yes and that you'd rather it trickle down more into the communities rather than just speaking to athletes but speaking to athletes specifically I love that he did this because I think He's, this is a way that he can he can share with all the young athletes out there. And one of the things he spoke about in the ESPYs is how he wants to inspire this younger generation of athletes. And basically, he's probably looking at, you know, in a way, I did a disservice to my family members. It's one thing if I'm investing in their education or, or certain things to set them up where they can then have their own careers and take care of themselves. But just giving handouts doesn't necessarily do anything. But I think it's really interesting, your point, in terms of creating the programs and certain things and taking that a step further. But to, to reach athletes specifically and him just working on inspiring that, I think he does that with this letter. Side note as well, I, I, kind, of, I kind of dig what LeBron James did. I mean, look, he took an entourage and he put them to work. Maverick and all those dudes. They went to, they, right? Finally. I mean, they, Oscar yes, De La Hoya they did exactly yes. the same thing. Went, it was all his guys. It's, yeah, all his guys. it's all his guys. And he, and, and, it's what Adam Sandler did in the movies, right? He hired yes. all his friends. No, but it's, it really is. That's ben a good point. It is really him. impressive to think that he he did this. And, and look how successful these guys oh, are. Very. And in terms of running an agency I think it's now. wonderful that you encourage. And I, like I said, love the message. Yeah. I just don't think that a the letter on the Players' Tribune is the way. I, and now I have all due respect for yeah. the Players Tribune. I mean, it did bother me in the beginning because I, I was a Yankees beat writer for yeah. five years. And when someone tells me I was never asked a good question, it bothers me, you know, which is the premise <laughs> that of the came Players out Tribune. in the Players Tribune. They no, said, it's yes, just, you know, yes. it's one of the kind of one of the lines of when when Jeter, you yeah. know, took this took this on. But I do think it's a great way of uh, of the audience connecting directly with the athlete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. But I just don't think this is going to solve anything. No, That's my point. It won't solve anything. I, I really think that uh, somebody like Kobe Bryant has serious influence mm -hmm. to all these new kids that are coming. And but a letter, Claudia. Yeah, but it's better than but nothing. But it's a message. How, no, many, then, how many more things do so we have? so many other things he could have done instead yeah, of well, just a letter that but gets But you know so what? Mine. If my aunt had wheels, she'd be a bicycle, and that's not going to happen either. We've got to start somewhere. <laughs> the truth is, how many players... But why not start in, in, in something that is way more meaningful? Like, you know what? Talk to those athletes. They're, talk to the new recruiting class. Talk, like, go, but I, I think go it's, where do, you it's it. where do you necessarily reach them? And, okay. and everybody's following him, and, and he's such an icon in the sport. So some of, the, some of these young rookies coming up, I'm, everyone loves Kobe. It's yes, Kobe. Like, yes. you know, Kobe's another level. I so, love Kobe. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe <laughs> speaks, we all listen. So I think, and he has been so successful um, be, beyond the NBA as well. And I think they're going to look at this and say, you know what? All right, now when I look, when I sit down with my financial planner, how am I going to invest in my money? What am I, do I, do I buy a house? Do I do this? Okay, so maybe it's, I get everybody educated and maybe, and, and look at it differently. It's, I think it's going to make, it's going to make everyone think. Well, least, the problem I'm, that I have with this is that I feel, and this is just my opinion, mm -hmm. respectfully, that when they read this, the people who have these problems, yeah. which are not exclusive, they're, I need, I need to mention her own personal experience. Claudia did, I did too, right? When you come from an immigrant family and yeah. you have mm -hmm. success, yeah. you have the same problems. The problem is that I see people reading this who admire and love Kobe, including myself, and I look at it and I go, millionaire problems. That's what I said. To myself. Hashtag champagne problems. champagne problems. First there you world. go. Yeah. So that's, champagne problems. that's what it is for me. I, I will say this, though, in regard, because I know we've, we've kind of incorporated the Players' Tribune in this. I, in, in talking to athletes, I, you know, it's hard for them to trust us. Of, of course. course. I mean, We're let's, the enemy. I mean, we're looking for a story. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. And we're going to dish it. I, I, feel that, I feel that my success has been really 
heavily because of the trust that I have gotten in and around the NFL with, with players. And they do come to me and they do talk to me Absolutely. on and off the record. And they same That's with, how it happens same with, with you, Major League, League Baseball. Baseball. Absolutely. So it, it's really hard to get an athlete yes. to trust a media person and, and what they like about the Players' Tribune, and, and because Derek Cheater is so well respected and, and, and his name is on it, is that it's a safe place for them. But the problem it's a that safe I have place was for them attacking to the media. and have a My voice. Own, you know, the problem that I have with it is that you are attacking baseball writers who are very hardworking, who did their job, who didn't, you know, so don't say that we didn't do a job well. Maybe you didn't enjoy your relationship with the media, or maybe it's not the right way for you. To, there was no filter, right? Their point is there's no filter. Mm -hmm. But don't, there is a balance. You can actually have that platform at the same time not attack the media. It could be a balance. Okay. But going back to the Kobe letter, I honestly yes. think that his idea was, okay, I have this opportunity. If I were to be talking to myself at 17, I would pretty much never write that, because yeah. God forbid my mom would find out. Mm -hmm. But really, <laughs> so I applaud that. And the fact that he did take that risk and the fact that he did put it in writing, yeah. it's going to be the risk. It's well, a letter in terms of hurting his family, though. No. Okay. You're gonna hurt. There's people okay. that he's You're speaking right. to, right? It's, that, yeah. it's, and he, that he gave Absolutely. that money to. And yes, he did. And he's exposing himself. I don't care how you slice it. Nobody likes, none of us here like to put our lives yeah, on the line. Put yourself out there. And he's no. very private. He he, yes. Keep in mind, Kobe's career has been somewhat of a roller coaster ride. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And he said, Personal and, 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 professional, and yes. professionally. Especially when he first came into the league and, you know, just could mm -hmm. not gel with that team. And, but he said that there's more to come. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm looking forward We're to looking that. Forward to I am, I'm looking forward to more insight from mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant on the Players' Tribune. I really I am. And, and I... I have to say that I expected I better from him because he is so well respected, because he is such a voice. Granted that it's a drop in the bucket. That's mm -hmm. what I think about it. And I just think that Kobe Bryant, with his mm -hmm. social responsibility yep. and how, how committed he has been, not only helping to the inner city in Philadelphia, but yes. in many other places, including in LA, yes, he could have done better. He's, he's That's what I think he could have done better. Hopefully he's watching and hopefully <laughs> yeah, he might he's taking your message. Hang tight. And now, now, with that being said. Puedes, Kobe, tú puedes. Okay. <laughs> Puerto Postura Callina. Yes. <laughs> but the truth is, let's go back. Who is more influential than Michael Jordan? I don't see him doing that. I, he, well, maybe he, he doesn't been? agree he just, with it. He just I mean, I don't know. know. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't I, I can't speak to his philanthropy work. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I honestly, I'm honestly unaware of it. Speak, I don't know. But I have never heard of him speaking, writing things down, and saying, for all you guys coming into the NBA, these are my words of advice. And God knows he knows about success. And he knows how to, he's gone through mm -hmm. tragedy yeah. very publicly. He's gone through another roller coaster. Absolutely. I mean, NBA wise, it does not get any better. But personally, he had to deal with a whole lot. I, but sometimes it's hard for an athlete to embrace that role. Exactly. Sure that, you know, Anita, you've seen it in the NFL so many times, right? Like these great people that people look up to, mm -hmm. maybe they don't embrace that role as a leader, you know, as an advice giver as yeah. well. No, I, I mean, <laughs> absolutely. I, I mean, a lot of times, like, you know, you're in a locker room, and, and, and again, since I've covered the Giants now for seven yeah. years, mm -hmm. Someone meets me. What do you do? I'm part of the Giants broadcast team. Oh, what's the deal with Eli Manning? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like what is Manning? the deal? He's a really, I mean, he's like Tom Coughlin said at his exit interview, his mm -hmm. exit press conference uh, when he resigned, whatever, from the Giants. Like, Eli, this isn't your fault. Like, you, you are, you're, you're, the, you're the guy that every man would want as a son. Yeah. Eli Manning is a phenomenal human being, mm -hmm. but... He just, you know, he doesn't have that. He's not a cheerleader. Right. He's, he's not in the he's locker not, room. Not in he's he doesn't no, have the personality. He's, he's not, he doesn't have that personality. He has the work away. ethic, yeah. but he doesn't have the personality. Doesn't make it wrong. Yeah. He's yeah. just different. Yeah. From the other side, if you look at David Ortiz, if you look at Carlos Beltran, who embraced that mm -hmm. role, who believe, you know, every time that you go to an opposing team clubhouse, sometimes just right outside, you'll see Beltran talking to the rookies from the other team. Yep. You'll see David Ortiz doing it. There's a lot of players, and I don't want to just single mm -hmm. out them too. There's a lot of veterans at MLB that embrace it, but there's other steps that don't, that it was uncomfortable for them. Mm -hmm. There's superstars that don't. So I think that's kind of interesting how Kobe everybody's feels so different, comfortable everybody's doing personality, it. and yeah. at least it's a step in saying he's looking out for these young rookies, and hopefully mm -hmm. they can learn yeah. from his mistakes, paying it forward. He said on the SBs that his next step is he wants to inspire the next generation of athletes, and I think you brought up a good point, potentially, of taking it a step further into the communities, not just the athletes. Well, so it's millennials. It's, it's going to be a tall task. Yes. Ooh, I'm one off, of them, get barely. Get oh, I get it. On. Barely. Get I'm hanging on. Yeah, you're the big Twitter feed. My Twitter feed. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> let's leave that one here. Coming after me. When we come back, Lou Holtz had very controversial comments regarding immigrants, specifically the Hispanic community. We will share those with you and